Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Liz and in my channel, I make informative videos about life here in New Zealand. I also do mommy tips and the makeup videos too. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. I would love to have you in my small YouTube community. As you can see in the title, my video for this week is all about my current favorites, skincare, makeup. If you want to know what my current favorites ko, please keep on watching. First up is skincare. Ngayon, itong skincare na to, matagal ko na siyang ginagamit. Kung napanood niyo yung aking high coke, Hi Coco pala, yun nakala ko hi Coco. Hi Coco na haul video. Yun yung first time na ginamit ko tong item na to. And since then, naging favorite ko na talaga siya. This is the Claire's na Vitamin C Serum. So this one here is nung time na yun, just a quick background lang, after I gave birth to my daughter Rosie, since na acne prone skin talaga ako, is nagkaroon ako ng breakout. Nagkaroon ako ng hormonal acne, which around this side of my face, yung dito sa jaw line ko. Sobrang daming acne niya. Minsan cystic pa. Yung, alam niyo yung parang may bump lang, pero sobrang sakit. Ganon. And meron ako mga blemishes noon time na yon. But ever since I started using this clears na vitamin C na serum, or serum ba to? Serum pala siya. Since naginamit ko tong vitamin C na serum na to, I can tell you 100%. Papakita ko sa inyo pag wala na akong makeup, pag gumawa ako ng makeup video, wala na yung aking or nagfe-fade na. Hindi pa siya 100% na wala. Nawawala na yung mga blemishes ko dito ever since naginamit ko and this is actually my second bottle since nung time na yun. So, matipid siya. Kasi, ang ginagawa ko, if, um, I'll put the link down below na lang din, or maybe somewhere here sa card, yung aking skincare routine, guys. Because, my skin is an acne-prone skin nga, I don't normally change my skincare routine. Kung ano yung ginagamit ko before, yun pa rin yung ginagamit ko. Kasi nga, natatakot ako baka magkaroon ako ng acne breakout. Kaya, ang ginagawa ko, for this one, I put it, I use it day and night. So, dalawang drops lang siya. I'll put it in my hands like this. Tapos, ilalagar ko siya. Tapos, lalagay ko siya kung saan ako may mga blemishes. But, I don't put it around my nose. Kasi, na-notice ko, pag naglalagay ko siya around my nose, nagre-red yung nose part ko. Kaya, simula noon, noon napansin ko nga na medyo nagre-red siya, iniwasan ko na siyang lagyan around my nose. The second skincare product naman na I will show you is this is from COSRX and this is Hyaluronic Acid Hydra Power Essence. After um, ng aking vitamin C, ito yung ginagamit ko. I use it day and night as well. This one, I've been using it for I think 2 months now. And I really like this combination kasi after kong gamitin to, Parang yung skin ko sobrang lambot. Yung lambot-lambot niya na parang baby skin siya. Very hydrating. Although, guys, you have to be careful if you use this in the morning. Kasi sinabi sa akin, or advice sa akin, is I have to use a sun protector or yung sunscreen. And the sunscreen that I'm using is from Claire's as well. Um, this is the only sunscreen na ginagamit ko. And this is SPF 50 plus 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 plus. Kaya, in the morning, highly recommend na gumamit kayo ng sunscreen pag gamit kayo ng hyaluronic acid. And so far, so good itong tatlong combination na to, guys. Really help my skin. And ewan ko kung ito rin yung reason kung bakit hindi ako nagkaka-breakout. I don't know. Pero recently nga, nag-stop na yung breakout ko. Hindi na ako nagkakaroon ng breakout around this area. And may, minsan, may pakonti-konti pa akong breakout. Pero hindi na siya ganun kalala. So, as you guys all know, di ko alam kung alam nyo na, pero I really love makeup base. I really love collecting yung mga makeup base like yung foundation, concealer, and setting powder. Yun yung gusto ko talagang kinokollect kasi hindi ako yung ma eyeshadow na tao and mabubuhay na ako sa makeup base lang, contour and a blush on. Everyday makeup, okay na sa akin yun. For this one, this is my current favorite and matagal ko na siyang favorite actually. Hindi pa ako nagpapalit since then kasi ako yung tipo ng tao pag nagustuhan ko yung product, hindi ako papalit-palit. 
Um, this one is yung Revolution na ni hindi ko hindi ko siya ni review ah. Ni review ko siya nung sa aking Makeup Revolution na review. This one here I'm in the shade C8. Although this one kasi masyado siyang kakulay ng skin tone ko, hindi siya nagba-brighten up. Parang tinatago lang niya yung aking under eye circle. Papakita ko lang siya. Pero I really like this one guys and very cheap pa siya. It's only $10. Here in New Zealand, and I bought it sa Farmers. If you can see, ayan o, oh, yan yung, ewan ko, nakikita nyo ba sa camera? Ang ginagawa ko, I put this under my eye first kasi nga kakulay siya ng skin ko. After that, I use this Tarte Shape Tape na concealer. This is a bit lighter sa shade ko kasi I want to brighten up my under eye dahil nga, nakita nyo naman no, napaka-itim ng aking eye bag. So, ito siya, ginagamit ko siya pang highlight ng under eye ko Tsaka ginagamit ko rin siya na pang highlight ng T-zone ko. So, naglalagay ako sa T-zone. This two, yung aking laging ginagamit everyday. And I've been using this for almost tagal na. Mag magwa one year na. Alam niyo naman tong part na shape tape is recently lang na dumating sa New Zealand. And if you can see, ayan siya. Medyo lighter talaga siya dun sa aking shade. Super light, I feel like. Pero maganda siya pag na-blend dahil nga napabrighten up niya yung aking under eye. And this one is in the shade Light Sun. Before I show you kung anong favorite ko na foundation, I'm go just going to let you know this is my favorite na primer. This primer is from Morphe and it's only... Um, I'll put the link down below, maybe the price over here as well because I forgot. And this one here is para siyang dupe ng... Alam niyo yung Smashbox? Parang ganun eh. Para siyang dupe nun. Kasi pag tinry mo siya, lalagay ko siya ng konti. Papakita ko sa inyo ha. Here you go. I don't know if you can see in the camera. Pero kasi pag tinry, ni, finifeel mo siyang ganun. Para siyang, wala naman siyang smell. Pero ano siya eh, velvety. Parang, alam niyo yung silikone. Yun, silikone siya. Dahil na malalaki nga yung aking pores around this side ng aking face, is pag nilalagay ko siya, parang yung natatakban yung mga pores ko, medyo nagmi-minimize yung pores ko. Kaya I really like this one. And ang, cla ang claims naman nito is blurs and softens imperfection. Instantly makes skin feel smooth and balanced. And I really like this one, guys. If you're going to ask me, yes, I'm going to buy this again. Next up, yung foundation. But before I show you kung ano yung favorite na foundation ko, just wanna let you know, guys, that my skin is really oily. As in, super oily ng aking skin. Mana ako sa aking father na super oily yung skin. Siguro pros na rin yun dahil nga super oily ng skin ko. Yung mga lines sa mukha ko, hindi pa masyadong nakikita. Siguro advantage na rin siya kasi yung skin ko nga dahil super oily, hindi hindi ako nagmumukhang matanda, parang ganun. Ano ba yan? Ayoko sabihin, baka naman sabihin yun, grabe naman to, mukha naman to matanda eh. I don't know if you already know guys, nahihiya akong sabihin, pero yes, matanda na po ako. I am 35 plus plus years old na. Ayan, sinabi ko na ito kasi... Siyempre, ini-aim ko naman na ah, before I turn 40 years old is makagawa ko ng YouTube channel ko. Kung sakasakali naman na, alam mo yun, hindi naman to maging career ko in the future or, or kung huminto man ako gawin to in the future, at least natry ko. There's nothing wrong of doing something that you love. Anyway, nag-chit-chat na naman tayo dyan, guys. So, ang aking foundation, yan, foundation na Um, ultimate favorite ko. Nakita nyo na ata to dun sa iba ko mga video. This is the Too Faced na Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. I'm in the shade Light Beige. I tell you guys, look at this one. It's almost empty. This is my first um, bottle or unang beses ko siyang tinry and I really like it. It lasted for so long because this one is 48 ml siya. It's a bit pricey, yes, but A little goes a long way and dahil nga super oily ng skin ko, ito yung foundation na ito yung foundation na nagblend sa skin ko na throughout the day hindi ko na kailangan mag-retouch and nandun pa rin siya, plakado pa rin siya hindi siya nagpe-fade yung oiliness ng skin ko hindi siya ganun ka-oily 
Although, lalo na yung nose part ko, yun na talagang super oily sa akin. And with this one, nami-minimize niya yung pagka-oiliness ko. Hindi rin siya heavy. And then this one is medium to full coverage. The next foundation that I really, really love, ginawa ko to ng review, guys, pero hindi ko na na-put up sa aking channel. Nag-iba ako ng path, hindi ako gumagawa masyado ng makeup videos for the last two months. This one here, nakita nyo na, this is from Morphe, and this is their foundation. I'm in the shade F2.2. Matt, guys, this one, I tell you, I tell you talaga, kung oily ang skin nyo, this two together. Itong dalawang to is pinagsasalit-salit ko lang. Uh, this one is about 20 something dollars. I'm not too sure. I'll just put maybe the price over here na lang. This one here is almost the same with this one. But it is 30 ml. It lasted that long as well. Pero mas, kung tatanungin niyo ako, mas maganda yung coverage ito yung, uh, sa pagkaka-oiliness ko. Talagang ito nagla-last siya. Kasi ang claim nga nito, 14 hour wear. I think so. But for this Morphe one, I really like it kasi alam mo yung price point niya, hindi naman siya ganun kamahal. Dito sa New Zealand, ah, hindi siya ganun kamahal. And then, hin naglalast din siya. Hindi ko na kailangan mag-retouch. Hindi siya heavy. And hindi siya ganun ka-drying for me. Kasi I feel like na itong foundation na to is mostly para sa mga oily skin. Marami na akong reviews na napanood nito, pero kung siguro normal to dry skin ka, baka hindi po pwede to sa'yo. Pero kung oiliness ka, like me, magugustuhan mo talaga tong foundation na to. Next naman is powder. Meron akong papakita sa inyo isang high-end, isang affordable na price. And ito yung high-end ko. This is the Huda Beauty na setting powder. And I'm in the shade Banana Bread. For this one, I really like it kasi mas maganda siya. Parang very fine yung texture niya and mabiblend talaga siya sa face mo. Although, for me, it's really pricey and actually ubus na siya or paubos na siya. Pero if you're going to ask me if I'm going to buy this again, I don't think so. This one is about 20 grams. And guys, ito, ang bango-bango niya. Pag inamoy mo, ang bango. Ang bango niya. Very classy. Tapos nakikita nyo yan, may sifter siya dyan. And although yun nga lang, wala siya yung parang pang sara. But this one costs about 55 uh, New Zealand dollars. And for this price point, yun na nga, mahal siya. Kaya unfortunately, kahit na gusto ko siya at gusto ko yung kung paano siya mag-set sa face ko, hindi ko naman nagustuhan yung price. Kaya, yes. I'm not going to buy this again. Although, this is my favorite. The second one ang aking favorite. And andun din siya sa aking current favorites before. As usual, this is yung aking Coty Airspan na natural, naturally neutral. This one, guys, alam nyo na. You know the drill. This is really cheap. In the US, alam ko, $6 siya. Pero kung dito kayo bibili sa New Zealand, it's about $25. Magre-range siya mga 20 to 25 dollars, guys. But this one I really like it. Grabe. As in wala akong ginagamit na ibang powder kung hindi ito. Lalo na pag ako ay nagbe-bake ng aking face, nagbe-bake ng aking under eye, tapos binebake ko yung dito sa side of my face so that na ha-highlight talaga yung aking contour. Ito lang yung talagang ginagamit ko ever since and I'm not going to replace it or wala pa ako nakikitang replacement niya as of now. Aside from that, sinasabi ko nga, diba, nagbe-bake ako ng under eye ko around here, tapos here. So, how about the rest of my face? The rest of my face, nila, gumagamit ako nitong Morphe na powder. This is the Filter Effect Finishing Powder. And I'm in the shade Filter 4. Actually, nung, nung gumawa ako ng review na to, is hindi ko siya nagustuhan. Medyo nag-dark siya sa face ko. But although naman hindi ko siya ginagamit all over my face, pinaghahalo ko yung Coty Airspan ko, tsaka ito. Kaya, okay na rin siya sa akin. If you use this alone, sa akin ha, yung shade na Filter 4 is a bit darker. But maybe uh, next time if I want to buy this, I will buy a lighter shade around mga Filter 3 na lang. Kasi nga, nag-oxidize siya sa skin ko and nagiging mas maitim yung face ko alone. 